everyone's asking me questions like I have the answers. I don't, I have no idea. When everyone heard this, I heard the exact same thing. Um, there was speculation, I think, obviously, but I really thought there was no way just based on timeline and um, everything. So, you know, I'd love to be able to provide more insight. I literally just have nothing. And I am trying to ask myself all the questions to try to figure it out myself. And I, and I don't know how, and I know that's probably not the best thing to do. Um, what is the timeline? Let, in your yeah. Eyes? Let's, let's talk timeline, man. Like what, what is your version of the timeline? Well, that's what I have a, you know, a hard time processing, I think just because, um, you know, this 12 days of messy that, you know, I didn't sign up for, but I was attached to just like all the other guys, um, you know, started 12 days ago. I'm sure that she probably knew who day 12 was and who was going to be and why. So when I try to think about the breakup, um, happening when it did roughly a, a month ago, she probably had an idea 12 days after that, or, you know, two weeks after that, who was going to be number 12 and how she was going to announce it. So naturally, you know, you start to think about the timeline. It's okay. Well, I know they spent a lot of time together and stuff, but like, there's just no way I never had an inkling that, and I, I'm just a very secure guy, very confident guy. And I give my trust out a hundred percent, especially to the person who I should be trusting the most. I, I really don't think there was any physical cheating there, but there's clearly emotional for it to transition as quickly as it did. And I kind of feel, you no, know, I, I feel uh, stupid and foolish for allowing it to happen, I guess, to some, to some degree. And I don't know if it was partially me too, like, was she in some sense emotionally cheating to some degrees because I wasn't able to provide something with words of affirmation, which I know I struggle with sometimes. Like, so I just have so many things that I'm trying to figure out why it went wrong, why it transitioned so quickly into a new relationship. What was I in all of this from start to finish through all the Greg chaos, Michael chaos, what was I in the middle, you know? And like yeah. John happening so quickly that I'm just like, you know, like Mike, I talked to you last time we spoke and there's a reason why I'm talking about to you guys here now, because I, you know, I try to stand by having no regrets, but like it's instances like this where you really start to fight yourself with having no regrets with things, just the way things played out. And like last week it was good. Like I didn't see this coming, you know? So I don't, I, I mean, everything that you're feeling right now, Blake, so is valid, man. It's warranted. Yeah, it's glad you're a human being, right? Um, for you to question yourself and question the timeline. But you guys just weren't boyfriend, girlfriend. You guys, I was your fiance, you know? Um, and so I just want to let you know that you can stand up for yourself. 